Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, here to bring you part one in a two-part review of this stuff right here, which is the Kenyon K-Tape Repair Tape. What is this? Why is it a two-part review? Well, it's a repair tape. It is basically kind of a ripstop material backed with adhesive. Comes in a three inch by 18 inch roll, and it is used for repairing things. Use on parkas, rainwear, duffels, totes, sleeping bags, tents, etc. Always carried in the backcountry, basically wrapped up, jammed in my pack. It's pretty beat up. I've used it one time. I was actually on a backpacking trip with my boys up in the Sierras and the tip of our fishing pole ended up breaking. Used some of this stuff to basically get it back together. Did a good job. Wasn't what it was made for. So why is this two part review? Well, I finally have some things that can actually benefit from this in the intended use for it. But rather than put tape on it and be like, yay, it worked. It's a matter of me putting this onto a couple of different items. And then we'll revisit it later, probably a matter of months, and see how this stuff held up. What do I have to repair? First, I've got this guy, which is a outdoor research compression sack that was waterproof. Thanks, Derek. Loaned it to my buddy on a little adventure we went on and somehow, somewhere along the lines, this got basically torn. So I'm gonna try to get that fixed up and see if it'll hopefully be waterproof because these are rad, especially for like down sleeping bags or something. So even if it's raining, when you get where you're going, your sleeping bag's still dry. And then I also have this guy, which is my tactical distributors downrange jacket. And over here, on my right sleeve, I have these cuts. How did that happen? Well, if you saw my Strawberry Mountain misadventure, ended up going off a road. Basically, when my vehicle finally came to rest, I was trying to get some stuff out of my vehicle, some warming layers and whatnot, and reached into the back window, which was totally blown out, and I'm pretty sure it got cut on some glass or something back there. So, I'll try and get that patched up too. When we cut out our patch, ideally we want rounded corners. Perfect world, I would have some scissors or at the very least a cutting board. I have neither, but I do have this, which is gonna be easier to cut on than snow covered rock. So let's get this guy going. Here's one, I'm gonna cut out a couple more. I'm sure some people just lost their mind. You know what, I'm pragmatic. Do not care about scratches on the back of the holster. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this first patch, this being on the downrange jacket by Tactical Distributors. Hopefully it'll keep me from hemorrhaging any more down. But I just have these two cuts. I made sure that this is going to overlap a fair distance in every direction around these. And ideally, we wanna make sure our fabric or whatever material we're putting this onto. It's gonna be nice and clean. This jacket's about as clean as it's gonna get. Peel this backing off. And smear that guy on there. Ideally with these rounded edges, as round as I could get them. Uh, hopefully this won't start peeling up, but time will tell. On this dry sack, I'm gonna approach it a little bit differently because I can in that it's basically cut all the way through. So what I'm going to do is pull this guy inside out, expose it. I'm gonna hit it from both sides. I'll we'll take my probably less well-made one Go ahead and get it on here. It'll be interesting to see how this works. This is a compression sack that supposedly can push air out, but yeah, push air out from inside of it, but keep water from getting into it. And I feel like where it's actually torn is that specific material made to do just that. 
so we will see. I've got effectively what is a backing piece. If you have some sort of layer, like a hard shell or anything like that, and you get something cut all the way through, probably the preferred method. Now, put this guy right set out. And what I didn't do and probably should have done is push the pieces of material together. You can see some black right there, but get what you get. I'm not gonna redo it but I will have this other piece over the top, so hopefully it should do a good job. And by good job, I mean just stay waterproof. Wet down sleeping bag is no good. sweet black spot on there there it is so will this stuff work we will find out probably revisit it in a couple months after i get some time to use this as well as more time with the downrange jacket by tactical distributors and see how this stuff does but lastly i want to thank all you guys that support my content very much appreciate it whether it's liking and sharing videos picking up stuff through my website stickers kbat targets AR Pistolero patches, all that other stuff to include t-shirts over on Teespring and especially you guys that support me through Patreon. Thank you guys very much. It helps me go out and create this content for you guys. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.